guys, what's up? And welcome to part two of our Japanese spiny lobster shaping tutorial. So, you will see that last time we completed the tail in part one, and now we are going to work on part two, which is the legs. So let's get started. Okay, so I went over all the materials that I'm using in part one. So if you still don't know what this is, then go to part one, but I'm fairly sure you know what a clothespin is. And then um, now we are going to start shaping the legs. So, I'm going to start by taking off the clips that we used last time. And about repeating on the other side, I'm doing these tutorials almost back to back. So this glue is not yet dried on this side. And I'm going to do the other, what's it called? Other side of this later. But for right now, I am just doing these right now. So first, before we get started, um, we're going to, so this is the side that we did. And now what we're going to do is we see the side that we've done and it looks pretty good. Make sure to fold these down right there so that we can pinch these. Yes. And now what we're going to do is we're gonna look at the legs. So we're going to do this leg first because it's the closest one to right here. And there's a bunch of things that we haven't glued yet here. So this is gonna be our first one. And it's gonna take us into, if we finish this, it'll go up to the top right here. Will take us into our next one. This is going to be another fairly long tutorial. So just get ready. All right. So we're just putting the glue right on here. And getting it around here. This glue has been sitting out for about an hour, so it's not in the best shape. Now collapse this. And we should have this now. This should be collapsed. And we're moving on to this leg here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna glue all in here, just this area. And then I'm going to move on to the other foot and then we will finish with the last three. I don't know if this tutorial will take longer than the first one or shorter. So we're gonna have to see.
make sure you get in here because that's very important. It's all important. We're almost done with the first of five legs. I don't know how long this is going to take. This very well could take me another hour. So now we have these, this leg, almost 100% done. Almost. <clears throat> this sort of got messed up right here, but we'll fix that later. When we're on the other legs. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unclip this, 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 and this. So this is what the Japanese spiny lobster will look like. It will look like this, except this will all be rounded. Now, last time also what we didn't do is we didn't get these flaps up here. Save that for this time, so we can get that also. I have to do these back to back because I got a little bit into the legs on part one and I don't want it to dry at a bad angle. So we're gonna have to completely shape the legs. All together. At the end of this part so that they do not dry wrong. So there is one leg almost. We have a couple of parts here that need to be glued. I 
And now, if you have one, take a small clothespin. Oh, sorry, I actually have one more left here. There, and I'm going to get these bottom ones too. There's two. Four. There's five and there's six. Okay. So now we'll take our paper towel and our first leg should be a hundred percent finished. So you can just Keep that there, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it against this side for now. Sort of pin it there. Now I'm gonna use a big clip for this part because the smaller clips can't quite reach that far. The di distance between here and here. I'm gonna leave this part open right here so we can have better options for shaping. And
this one. And I'm not gonna put any glue on this part either because this is the second leg. So I'm going to keep this one open. Then open this. Now I'm just going to do some short ones here. These couple of short ones. This is getting into the other one, but that's all right. Cause the long pieces on top, we're gonna stretch all the way across. Now we can start on the top ones. <laughs> Going down here. Can't believe we're only 18 minutes into the video. Well, about 18, 19 now. I'm going quite a bit faster on this one. So sorry if you can't keep up, you can pause the video. If you were wondering what paper I'm using, this is actually paper from um, the origami shop in France. And I just spray painted it red and the bottom black. So that's what the paper I'm using is. Is this, no. this one still has to go down to here. So I'm going to shape 
this little whisker here too. Like that. Because then I'll be able to get this one. Well, most of this one. I don't think I'm going to go all the way into this. Just doing this here, so. And the whisker. So I will also be showing how to shape the whisker. Well, not the whisker, but I don't know what to call it. The sort of antenna feely thing. I'm really bad at knowing what the things are called. Different parts of a lobster. The Origami Mantis Shrimp by Andrei Ermakov took, I don't know, maybe about as long as this. I honestly think that it took longer. Maybe it was just a little more repetitive. This still is pretty repetitive, but there's different parts. I, I mean, I did all that and it's pretty much only 22 minutes. 22. No, 50s. I'm gonna have to pour some more glue soon. There we go. There's one. there. So that is part of the whisker. Or it's probably not a whisker. I don't know what it's called. A feely thing. Probably not correct either. That's okay. So now I'm not going to glue this part. see because yes so this comes like this and this is flat so this is going to stay here now I'm going to start to glue together some of these other legs like this one right here should be fully glued together now So now I'm going to put some small clips on it, just to keep it compact. Sorry, I was out of the frame. So this is what it looks like. And then 
I've finished this one too. I'm gonna put these here. But these will come off when I finish another one, so. These aren't gonna stay on forever, like this. All right, so this one I'm gonna keep open so that this can stay pretty flat. So then this next one right here, I'm gonna pour some more glue real fast because it is not start to do well no I'm gonna save the more facial details for next time so that's gonna take a while Now we have this and we're going to put this in. And you can carry it. Well, no, you can't carry it all the way up yet. So now we have a long line we can do down this one. Now this is a part that for me, for some reason, the paper it keeps rubbing together or something and it just keeps coming undone. So I hope that it stays together a little better. Just gotta fix it up a little bit. I'm gonna put, I have to put a lot of small safety pins, clothes pins here. I'm gonna get it more in shape when I have these top, this top part up.
then this part I'm going to start putting in. Then this part I'm not going to glue because, well, when you put this in, it doesn't quite line up, but these are gonna be all out. So I'm not gonna glue here because this could be the outside or something and it will just give me more places to shape. It would be very helpful. So I'm just gonna leave this part open. First I have to get this glue out there. There. That should hold this part in place fairly well. open this up and we're just going to finish up to probably in there. Okay. I don't think that this top, no, the top part's glued. Now we have this Now we have to get these parts of here.
now I'm going to take these clips off this part. All right, so there we have this, and now we have this inside part. But before we get to that, this part is almost done, and we're gonna quickly finish in here, and then we're going to get these parts in there and then the rest of this will mostly be done in the part tomorrow but before this dries we're going to start to position the legs so i'm going to have this one right here be my last leg on this side right there. This one here be a leg and then it should look like that. And then from here I don't think that the shaping will be too difficult. I just want to make sure that these are flat strips just have a little more to do. I really want to get this part done tonight. But this is exhausting. But after the legs, I'll be able to stop and relax. It'll be a few more days probably until you get the next part because I'm gonna have to do all of this on the other side. And it's gonna be really hard to motivate myself to do that. going to just right here I'm just gonna go up to like here because I want to the midway point because I want to be able to shape so probably a little past the midway point like here I'm going to two units past the midway point. well not the midway point but here
And then once you get to here, you can just go like this and then There's one. Alright, so now the plan for the rest of this part is I'm going to get this, well part of this, in place, like up to the, this part. Then we're going to get the back real fast. Now I'm just going to get some of the details 
in here, which hopefully shouldn't take too long. Because I don't think, yeah, I don't think it will take too long because it's a couple of layers, but I don't think it'll take longer than 10, 15 minutes. beginning I thought this was going fast. This is taking a really long time. This might actually be longer than the shaping for the mantis shrimp. This is incredible. I'm just gonna start on the side and go all the way down. I'm not gonna go all the way under there. I'm just gonna go to about, oh well, yeah, I'm gonna go to right here. This line belly fold right there.
Okay, so we have most of the stuff down here. Now it's just the stuff up, stuff up here, and then we're done. Mostly I'm just inserting glue between all the crevices and then I'm going to push it together. Almost done. Now we just have to press this part in place. my hand under to get a certain spot that isn't sticking well. So there is the legs completed. If you turn it over, you can start to see this come down. This is another main part that I'm gonna let dry tonight.
Now just position the legs like you want them to be in the finished model. Because if they dry like this, this is probably how they'll be. So I'm gonna take this out of the way and just position the legs, sort of spread out. There you go. Those are the legs for the Japanese spiny lobster. Thank you so much for watching. And now finally we can check off that we have done, oh, wrong pencil. We have done the legs. This pencil is great. Right. Um, Thank you so much for watching. Next time we will work on the sort of head features and then the details. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next tutorial. All right, so after you let the legs of the Japanese spine lobster dry, they should look something like this. Just spread them out and push them in there. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side now. And I will see you in the next part. <laughs>